spooky, but I'm really nice. At least for now. So, hey witches, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can probably tell from the title, I am doing a Sharon Needles inspired Halloween makeup look and this is a collab with the lovely Bethany Windmill. I'll have her channel linked below in my description box. You should totally go and check her out. She makes amazing videos. She's brilliant. You need to go check her out and follow her on Instagram as well. But we decided to collab together on two different um, drag race looks. So she's doing Trixie Mattel and I'm doing Sharon Needles. Um, this took a really long time but I'm really pleased with the way it turned out. So if you want to know how to get this Ooky, spooky, kooky look. Go ahead and watch the rest of the video. And if you know what I'm referencing, you can comment that down below. And yeah, I really hope you enjoy this. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and apologize quickly. I am filming this on my phone. So if it doesn't look like the best quality, that's why. Um, but hopefully it should be all right. It seems okay to me, but if it looks a little bit like grainy and you're like, what's going on here? Because I'm filming it on my phone. But yeah, it might be fine. I don't know. Let's hope it's good, okay? It'll be good, it'll be fine. But let's go ahead and get into the video, and yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Honestly though, have you ever seen me look more beautiful than I look right now? It's a look. So yeah, I'm starting out with no brows already done, brows already blocked out, whatever, because it genuinely took me a really long time, and by a long time I mean actually like half an hour, because I had to wait for it to dry. And I, you could use a hairdryer to help dry them, that might help, but I didn't want to like warm up too much, so I just sat, let them dry, and I put like six layers of concealer on, and I've just powdered them, um, I'm just going to powder the edges a little bit more. Um, I'm going to do brows first, because I feel like that will be the most difficult part, and I'm probably going to screw up, but I'll have confidence in myself. Okay, so for the brows, they're quite thin, um, but maintain like quite a normal shape. I don't know how you want to put it, just like a regular brow shape, but obviously higher up and on the thinner side. I'm going to take this Makeup Revolution um, lip liner pencil in Noble, just because this is a really soft pencil and I don't want to lift up the brow hairs. I'm just going to do that to sort of sketch out the shape to start off with. I look like Ursula from The Little Mermaid. It's a good look. I'm just going to go in with the Freedom Eyebrow Pomade in Chocolate and just a small angled brush. I'm going to start fleshing out the shape and sort of filling it in. I mean, you can use a reference picture. I've got one up on my computer. And you just want to start filling in and creating the shape. So I got me some brows on and if they look a little bit like ones uneven that's okay because a lot of the time they kind of look like that anyway I think it's to give sort of the like um, sceptical eyebrow look um, that she kind of goes for. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move on to foundation now. I'm going to be taking a mix of the, where did it go? The Freedom Pro HD Longwear White Concealer and a bit of the Lancome Tenty Doll Ultra Wear Foundation just to start off with. And then I'm going to be doing some highlighting, contouring, but I'm just going to start off with this as a base. Um, I've already primed with MAC Fix Plus, but actually, yeah, I'm going to use a little bit of this um, Spackle Tinted Under Makeup Primer, and this is in the shade Champagne. I'm just taking the Tarte um, Amazonian Clay um, Foundation Stick in the shade Fair Neutral and I'm just going to highlight along the jawline. This is just for some of the more subtle highlights and then for the more intense highlights I'll be going back in with the white. Um, I just want to lighten up the base a little bit as well. I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out. Thank you. 
Now I've got a bit of a tan at the moment so usually I'd be a bit more pale and this would be easier for me to um, get really fair skin but I'm just going to get in with the um, white concealer again and use that to do a bit more extreme highlighting and again just lighten up the base a bit more. I'm going for slightly the more modern Sharon Needles look where she's sometimes not quite as pale. Um, Sorry, I've got a sore throat. She's not quite as pale and there's a bit more like, um, a tiny bit more colour in her makeup, more like a very cranberry or like red shades in there. Um, but the base is usually a little bit less um, pale, So, but I'm still gonna be doing the white highlighting to really bring up the features. I'm just gonna go ahead and start adding that under my eyes, um, down the side of my jaw and onto my nose, onto most of the places that we just highlighted. I also just put that foundation on my forehead as well. Um, because I had a bit of a tan up there and I wanted to erase it. I'm also just priming my eyes with shape tape as well. And I'm just going to gently blend that out on my Real Techniques sponge. And I'm going to blend out all these highlights as well. I'm just going back in with this really fine um, copiness line brush. Um, this is the 009 brush. You can use any really fine angled brush. And I'm just redefining the brows because um, they got a, the edges got like a tiny bit covered up when we were doing all that full coverage foundation. So I'm just gonna define the edges a little bit more and make sure that they're on there and they've got a good shape. I'm just fleshing them out a little bit and making sure they don't look like too overly like cartoony and just evening up the front of the brow as well um, so they sort of match a bit better on each side okay and I'm gonna set my face with this MUA white loose setting powder which I really 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 don't like but I'm gonna use it because it's the right colour and yeah it's the only really white powder that i've got and i don't want a lot of the shade of the foundation but this is going to go for it it's going to be a powdery mess so i'm going to do my best to try and limit the like dust clouds going everywhere and this is a fair warning do not take a photo of yourself with this powder on with flash because you will look like you are absolutely crazy Right, so I'm going to start off with my Lorac Pro palette, which has been well loved. And I'm going to start off with just some basic brown shades to start filling in um, the crease. And I'm going to go in with a sort of angled brush at first, I think. Um, actually, no, I'm going to take a very fine brush. And I'm going to use that to sort of try and create the shape. And it's a very sort of like round shape that goes out like that. So I'm just going to draw a line to create the shape of the eyeshadow. And then I'll start filling in the colours afterwards. Okay, once you sort of flesh out the shape, even if it looks a bit messy, it doesn't matter because it's just to sketch out the shape. Um, you want to start filling in some of the sort of like dark brown shades which go around the outside and then it sort of fades to um, more of a, like a cranberry colour and then you can put on, put on some glitter and some highlights. Um, but I'm going to start off with this sort of rounded brush from Eco Tools and I'm going to go into a mix of taupe and sable and I'm just going to sort of clean up those lines and start filling in um, the outer edges. Now the outer edge in the image that I'm looking at is very defined so I'm just taking a mix of espresso and sable and I'm just putting a darker line um, along the very edge of the top part of the eyeshadow. Um, I just typed in Sharon Needles makeup and there's an image of her with like two toned hair like one side white one side black and like a little crown on. If you want to find the picture I would show it but I don't know if I'm really allowed to so um, yeah, just search Sharon Needles makeup and then it's one of her with two different colours hair. She's got like a cranberry sort of lip on and a little crown on. So you can go ahead and find that if you wanted to see the exact picture that I'm um, sort of referencing. Um, again, I'm just going in and defining 
um, this part because in this picture it's not like it's like you know it's not like a natural sort of like soft blended look or anything you know it's like sort of like a big defined um, wing shape and yeah we're sort of getting there with the shape I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my other little brush this little round one and I'm just gonna soften up um, the edges of that color um, because it blends quite nicely but it is still um, defined as being darker on the other edge. So just check back at my picture and there's sort of an orange peachy shade just on this like outer corner here and it like fades into light. Um, I'm going to be cutting out the front part of my crease probably um, anyway but I'm just going to add in a bit of like a peachy orange shade. I'm going to go into the Huda Beauty Desert Dust palette. I'm going to use a mix of Eden and Blazing and there will be a full review of this palette coming soon but uh, I need to plan how I'm going to do it and not make it sound really complicated because I had a lot of complications with this thing but hey ho I'm just going to go in with this angle brush and I'm going to sort of tap this on the outer edge um, to sort of lighten up the outer corner um, and warm up that very outer part these shadows do layer like quite nicely so I'm just going to pop them over the top and make sure that it's not too dark because there's um you've got that outer part that's quite defined but um the sort of where my actual just above my actual crease is quite light um with the warmer tones so i'm just gonna dab that on and blend out as i go and just make sure it all meshes well together i really like these like color combinations like i'd love to do like um slightly more like natural version of this um because the shades work really really nicely together and it's not super dark on this inner corner so you can go ahead and add i'm putting a bit of eden on there, I lighten that up a little bit. Um, this will look different on me as it does on Sharon, and it will look different on you as well because everyone's got different sort of like bone structures, and it depends on like your brow shape and how high up you can take the eyeshadow, um, etc. 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 But I'm just gonna blend this out on the inner corners and make sure that they all like mesh nicely together. This like shape and colour combination really reminds me of like moth wings or something. Um, I'm actually not going to cut out the crease because I don't really think it needs it and I don't want to put even more concealer on my eyes as well. I've got a lot going on here and everything's blended quite nicely so there's no point like erasing what I've already done. But um, depending on how it goes for you, you might want to cut out the crease just for the lighter shade on the lid. But for now I'm just going to leave it as it is. I'm just going to go back into Eden from the Huda Beauty palette. And I'm going to put a little tiny bit of this just above um, the darker shades. Because there's a little tiny bit of um, a warm sort of peachy brown colour up there. And I'm just going to lightly dust that on. Um, and not make it too intense because we still want to keep that sort of dark edge down. Now on the actual lid it looks like she's got um, like goldy like silver like little glittery things um i don't really have any of those but i thought i would do the next best thing i'm going to mix together the silver and the light gold shade from the jody beauty luxe glitz palette you can use my code mind the mermaid for 10 percent off shameless plug um so yeah i'm going to mix those two together and pop those on the lid and i'm going to grab a bit of glitter glue and i'm just going to go ahead and stick those on so i can't find my glitter glue I don't know where it's gone, but I'm going to use this um, Lorac Pro behind the scenes eye primer and it's quite tacky so it should do the job um, but if you can find your glitter glue, use that instead um, I'm just going to dab a small amount of this onto the lid area Okay, now I'm going to go in with Sable from the Lorac Pro Palette and I'm going to use that on my lower lash eye and it comes down quite far and it's quite dark and smoky under there. There's also um, white liner going on. So I'm going to make sure not to um, get it too super close because I've got to make sure that the white liner stands out and I'm just going to smoke it down um, just a small amount of first. I'm just using this angle brush from Real Techniques. This is the brow brush and I'm just going to 
start bringing that down and connect it to the upper shadow as well I don't want to bring it down too far because then that will sort of change the angle of the upper part so I'm just going to be um, following the natural shape and then smoking it out I'm going to take a tiny bit of the black shade from this palette and I'm just going to use that along the very edges um, and onto the outside now it's sort of hard to tell in this picture but I'm pretty sure there's a wing on there so I'm going to go ahead and add some winged liner and I'm going to follow the shape that I've created here and move it down I'm not going to bring it onto the lid too much because we've got the glitter on there um, and it's sort of focused on the outer corners anyway So I'm just putting on some of the Laura Geller Glam Lash Mascara. Um, I was going to go ahead and add lashes now, but I think I'm going to do my contour and my highlight first. Because there's some big lashes and I want to be able to see what I'm doing. So I'm just putting on some of this mascara um, to start off with. I'm going to take this um, Collection Contour Stick. And I have powder. I know I have powder in my face already, but um, this works alright on top of powder. Um, but if you were going to do like cream contouring, I would recommend powdering afterwards. But I'm going to go ahead and draw on quite a dramatic contour. This is quite subtle, but it's cool toned. So I'm gonna start off with this and then probably set it with like a cool toned um, eyeshadow, just cause the contour is very cool toned on Sharon. And I need to do the nose as well. So I'm gonna start off at the top and create a very sort of slim down shape. And I'm just gonna draw a very thin, two very thin lines down the side and I'm gonna do a little bit on the nostrils as well and I'm going to go ahead and blend this out with my Real Techniques contour brush um, and let's see how that looks and then we can always add some more afterwards. Okay I'm going to take the shade Taupe from um, the Lorac Pro palette and I'm going to set that with this because this is like a nice um, neutral brown shade and it will just um, deepen up a little bit. Um, I'm sort of scared to go too dark, but you can go a little bit darker than this if you want to. I might add in a little touch of sable just up the very tops. So yes, yeah, so I'm gonna take a tiny bit of sable and I'm gonna put that in the very upper part of the contour um, where it would be the deepest anyway. And I'm gonna bring this up along the sides and on the temples a little bit too. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some lashes and I will be right back. Sorry, I've got like foundation on my lips. I'm not surprised, honestly, I'm not surprised. So there's my lashes on. They are looking pretty damn good. I'm so pleased with these lashes. These lashes are just life, I love them. But sadly, while I was trying to get them on, my eyes started watering because my have my eyes open so long and there's like a lot of stuff on my eyes. So my eyes started watering and I almost ended up looking like pheromone when Eureka left, just like, uh. Uh, you know, it wasn't a good look, but I saved it, saved it. I'm just going to go into my Aurora Glow Kit and I'm going to use the shade Luna because I can't really see if she's wearing highlight in this picture, but she will be, and I'm sure it will be a light colour, so this will work out fine. And I'm just going to put, like, quite a lot of this on. Um, and I'm going to use this BH115 brush. I'm going to put a little bit on the nose as well, and just on the highlight points and I'm going to bring it up a little bit higher do 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 and just make sure I look all nice and glowy nice and shimmery I'm going to go put my wig on then I'm going to come back then we're going to do lips in that order okay not going to lie I feel like the wig really makes this it makes it happen it makes it come alive like I'm pleased with this this wig was literally like three pounds from a UK shop called home bargains and it was like three pounds and I'm pretty impressed with it for a three pound wig it's not that bad obviously it's not a lace front wig or anything but yeah it's pretty it's like a good color there's like a lot of hair like I'm quite pleased with it um I'll go ahead and sort of sort it out in a minute but for now I want to move on to my lips and um she's got quite big lips quite overdrawn so I'm going to start off with a black eyeliner pencil and then I'm going to fill it in with other colors and create sort of an ombre effect um but I'm going to start off by just overlining my lips
Okay, so now I've got my lips lined looking sexy. Um, and I'm just gonna take this Jeffree Star Androgyny liquid lipstick. I'm gonna put this on and then while this, it's still kind of like not fully dried down, I'm just gonna blend the edges together. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that. Okay, so there's lips done. Um, if you wanted to add a lip gloss on top, you totally could, but I really don't want my wig hair getting stuck in my lip gloss. Like, I can't be bothered with that right now because my wig is going everywhere. It's flying everywhere. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I just want to go ahead and apologize again um, if the video is not like the best like quality like to look at because I'm filming it on my phone and I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out right now. I might be apologizing for no reason, but We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it ends up when it's all been edited and stuff. But for right now, you are Sharon Needles. It's Britney Witch. So if you're feeling yourself this Halloween, I would totally recommend doing this as a Halloween makeup tutorial. This did take me a really, really long time. I don't even know how long this took me. This has taken me, like, probably at least an hour and a half at least. And that's including the brows, but it's taken me a long time. Um, but I really enjoy the way this turned out. I think it looks great. Um, I'm really pleased and I really hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. If you've got any requests, then please go ahead and let me know. And do not forget to go and check out Bethany Wimble's channel because she is amazing and I love her so much. So go check out her channel. She makes great videos. Um, yeah, so I'll see you in the next one and I really hope you enjoyed this and happy Halloween, bitch!